So as the chief said at the request in the Eden Prairie Police Department, the Hennepin County Sheriff's Office is investigating this case. We know that there are going to be questions that we're not able to answer at this time because the integrity of the investigation will be maintained. And so I'm going to ask for your patience uh, in this in terms of both what happens later today, tomorrow, the following days, and the questions immediately following our uh, statements. Uh, at approximately 2.45 a.m. this morning, a pursuit entered Hennepin County, at which point officers from the Eden Prairie Police Department joined the pursuit. The vehicle became disabled near the intersection of Highway 169 and Londonderry Road in Edina. The vehicle was occupied by three individuals, two fled and were immediately taken into custody. The remaining suspect was pursued on foot by Eden Prairie officers. During this foot pursuit, the suspect fired a weapon at law enforcement officers. In response, two Eden Prairie officers discharged their firearms, striking the suspect. Ongoing investigation, and we're able to release limited information at this time. Now, let me say that, uh, you know, this could have ended much worse for all involved, especially responding law enforcement officers. Now, I want to take a moment to say that the past few in the line of duty. 128 police officers year to date in this country have been killed. We're all thankful that the responding officers handled this incident professionally, and more importantly, that they all were uninjured. I'll turn this over to the chief from Eden Prairie Police Department. Chief. Thank you, Sheriff. My name is Jim DeMann, chief of the Eden Prairie Police Department. I'm going to talk just briefly a little bit about uh, my officers that were involved uh, in this incident. We had two officers that were directly involved in the pursuit, and uh, uh, as the pursuit ended, uh, they were involved in a foot chase uh, with the suspects, at which point there was uh, an exchange of gunfire. Uh, my officers uh, were not injured. Um, they were doing as well as can be expected. Um, as the sheriff mentioned uh, just briefly, <clears throat> across this nation, Law enforcement officers start their shift not knowing what that shift's going to bring. And I can't tell you how proud I am of my officers, uh, the training that they, they go through to help them prepare for something like this um, helps keep them safe and it also helps keep the, the community safe. Sure. Good. So folks, we're happy to uh, take some limited uh, questions. We see this as uh, two separate incidents, one being the homicide in Prior Lake, the second being the pursuit and the officer involved shooting that happened uh, in the city of Edina. So to clarify, the, the man that was shot by officers, is, he survived and he's in the hospital? At this point, uh, the individual that was shot by uh, responding officers is uh, being treated at a local area hospital. Is he expected to live? He's being treated at a local area hospital. Anything else? Can you give us the names of the inquiry officers who were involved? We will not be releasing that information at this time, but it will be forthcoming uh, shortly. Can you clarify what led to the shooting of Prior Lake? Was it a home invasion or a robbery or anything like that? Chief? Uh, very early in our investigation, and we're only a few hours into this, um, but uh, we do believe that there was a motive behind it and that uh, these, this person was targeted by the suspects. There was a mask in the, in the car, the suspect's car. Is that worn by them when the shooting happened in You know, I haven't been involved in the initial interviews of witnesses, so I'm not sure about that. Is the, you said there were other people in the house when the shooting happened. Is that right? Correct. So there, is there a pretty good picture of Yes, we have several witnesses that uh, our investigators, along with investigators from the Bureau of Criminal Apprehension, are interviewing related to the homicide at the house. Just the one death at the house, no one else hurt? Only one person, yeah, at the house. Only one victim at the house. And is there any indication at this point that the gunman at the house is the man who's currently in the hospital? Uh, we believe that there were three suspects that were taken into custody following the pursuit, and we believe that the gunman is certainly one of those three. How many shots were exchanged? I don't have that information. Do the people in the house know these suspects? And I don't have that information either. Thank you. 
victim was an adult male, and I don't know exactly how many people were home at the time. Can you say how long the officers, uh, the inquiry officers, have been on the force? Okay. Yes, uh, one officer is an eight-year veteran, and the other one is a five-year veteran. Both of them discharged their weapons at the scene of the, at 169? You know, it's very early in the stages of this investigation, and I think we just need to be patient and allow that investigation to take its course. When's the last time there was an officer involved shooting in East Prairie? Um, I think we had one a, just about a year ago, if I can recall. If nothing else, as I said, uh, John Collins from the Hennepin County Sheriff's Office, or Mike Sheehan that works with him, will be the point of contact for further information.